Holy friends, I'm on congress.gov, American website, in relation to HR 666, the covert identification, 19, testing, reaching, and contacting everyone, aka Trace, act, which to me is one of the principal divisions of a theatrical work, such as a play or opera, or one of successive parts of performances, as in a variety show or circus, which is what .gov is. Okay. And this is quite interesting. I can't find too much information on it. I mean, the first known use of ACT in the 14th century and the 16th century is Middle English ACT borrowed from Anglo-French and Latin Anglo-French ACT ACT borrowed partly from Latin acticus, actus, driving of cattle, track for cattle, movement, activity, performance, part of a play. Action noun, from azure, to drive cattle. That's what we are, cattle. Partly from the Latin actum, thing done, public transaction record, blah, blah, blah. Cattle. Track and trace cattle. To drive cattle. So, I'll quickly run through this because this isn't the element of interest for me. It was introduced the fifth month, that's May the 1st, 2020. This is a summary. Covert identification testing, reaching and contacting everyone, trace, track and trace. This bill authorizes the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to award grants for testing, contact tracing, monitoring and other activities to address covert identification 19. Entities such as federal Federally qualified health centres, non-profit organisations and certain hospitals only and schools are eligible to receive such grants. In awarding the grants, the CDC shall prioritise applicants that operate in hotspots and medically underserved communities and agrees to hire individuals from the communities where grant activities occur. So that's a spy in your neighbourhood. Now, I'm here on NHS jobs. There is a job going. It is unfortunately closed. And it closed on the 14th, applicants. So presumably they have enough squealers. And this is the job. It's a clinical contract contact caseworker now before i go through this i'll show you this and this is the pythagorean numerology chart as you can see a equals one b equals two right up to z which equals 26 now this is broken down as you see a a two I is 1 to 9, corresponding with the letter numbers. When we get to J, 
J is a tenth letter. And how this is worked out is 1 plus 0 equals 1. K is the eleventh letter. That's 1 plus 1 equals 2, etc. Up until the Z or the Z, which is the twenty-sixth letter. And we've got 2 plus 6 equals 8. So that's the Pythagorean numerology chart and how it corresponds letters with numbers. So let's have a look at what we've got. Job reference J11 slash A20 slash 23106. Employer, department is home working, all locations, salary £16.97 per hour to £27.15 per hour. Now that is a lot. And what exactly do they want? Want to support our NHS from your home using your clinical skills and expertise by joining the virtual front line. By working as a clinical contact caseworker, you will be responsible for liaising over the phone with COBRA Identification 19 patients, understanding their situation and assisting in the tracing of anyone they have been in contact with and giving them advice. This crucial role will allow you to further play your part in defeating the planned demic and has been developed as part of the Public Health England Contact Tracing Service which is part of a wider testing contact tracing programme led by the Department of Health and Social Care and supported by NHS England and NHS Improvement and the Cabinet Office. Key features and responsibilities in this role include undertaking the initial interview of COBRA Identification 19 positive cases by phone, conducting a public health risk assessment identifying contacts and providing public health advice, using your clinical knowledge to help escalate complex cases, working within agreed guidance and recognized procedures, scripts, as acts again, and structures with support. You will have the ability to work independently, problem solve, manage and prioritize your own workload and cope with competing demands. As part of this role, you will, you will be provided with appropriate training, online software, onboarding and induction materials. Working as part of a wider team of experienced clinicians, you will be liaising with call handlers in other teams and escalating any in-depth queries to the Public Health England team. You will need to have access to use of your own laptop desktop. The position requires ex excellent communication skills, both verbal and written, including a good telephone manner, manner and the ability to remain calm under pressure. Due to the homeworking and online nature of this role, you must be proficient in the use of Microsoft products, electronic systems and databases. Who we are looking for? The skills and experience required for this position are as a clinician band six level however we would also welcome applications from clinicians above this band who want to play their part on the virtual front line these roles would be suitable for but not exclusive to okay so let's take a look j is the tenth letter of the alphabet one plus zero equals one So what we have is 1, 1, 1, which equals 3. A is the first letter of the alphabet, 1. So we have 1 plus 2 equals 3. Here we have 2, 3, 1. Zero six. And we have two three one two plus three plus one equals six. Space 
6. So what we have is 3, 3, 6, 6, which equals 3 plus 3 equals 6, 6, 6. Okay.